How's it going today, guys? Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys what I do as far as a Final Cut Pro workflow. Um, so the first thing is, as I back everything up onto my external hard drives. Um, actually, I don't save any files to directly to my actual computer hard drive. So we're in Final Cut Pro right now. If you want to go on and click up in Final Cut Pro and you use System Settings, um, you can set right here. As you can see, you can set where you want all of your information sent to. And I've got it all sent to a hard drive that is external. Um, it's the one that says Final Cut Pro right there. And I have all my, uh, all my files, uh, render, capture, uh, audio, all that stuff is saved right here into that folder off the computer. I don't save anything actually onto the computer. But in today's um, tutorial, I'm really going to show you what I do as far as a workflow. This allows me to be... Uh, to be very versatile and I can go wherever I want and work on my on my projects you know so if I go out of town this workflow allows me to take the external hard drive and hook it straight into my laptop not onto my desktop and still have and still have all everything still set up the same exact way it was on my computer on my PC on my desktop so the first thing is we're going to do um, I have one called Cliff Montana right here and uh, we're going to click onto that. That's um, one of my projects. So, like the first thing I do when I set up is I name the project. I, I set that up in my external hard drive, and then I go through and I have different different folders. So I have music in this project. So I have a separate project or a separate folder just for music. I have raw footage, of course. So all my raw footage is put into a raw footage folder. Um, saved is you know if I'm working on the on the project, and and I want to come back to it. I'll go on and save it. As you can see, I got a save file right here, which we're going to go on and open up in uh, Final Cut Pro. Um, I have Live Type. I use Live Type, so I made some titles um, for this project. So I went on and made a Live Type um, folder. And then this is a completed project. Um, this one project that I'm working on here is a um, it's an ongoing project. Um, I'm making. I've made like four or five videos off this project. Um, so every time I finish one, it gets sent into what I call the done folder. Um, so we will bounce back over to Final Cut Pro, and uh, so it's going to update the project. It's going to go through and find all the information. All right, I have one file offline. I don't know what that is. Um, but I'll live with it. So the really nice thing about having it set up, um, as you guys can see, um, I have this on my hard drive called Backup One. This is an old project that I don't do anymore. Um, but say I wanted to do this Cliff um, Montana project, I wanted to work on it on my laptop. The nice thing is I can unhook the hard drive, and I can hook it right into the laptop. It's got Final Cut Pro as well on it. So when I hook it up, I can just go straight to uh, Backup One, and then I can click on Cliff Montana. Then I can click on Saved, and I can open this this project file up right on my laptop as if it were on my desktop. The other nice thing that I have set up this way is you can always find your media. Um, say you're doing the project and and you save like you put music into your project, but it, the music's actually on your desktop. The bad thing about that is when you unhook the hard drive, hook it up to the to the laptop, and try to open up the project. You're gonna have a problem because you're not your music's gonna be missing. You're not gonna have your music. So I keep all everything that I that I put into the project music, subtitles. I mean anything and everything. Whatever. Um, say I'm doing some some stuff in color or motion. All that is gonna have its own folder. It's gonna be saved so that the whole entire project is in one pretty much in one massive folder that can be hooked to any computer that has Final Cut Pro and can be edited. So it's really nice for on the go type of stuff. So um, and then, as you can see, um, all my uh, the whole project's open up, and I can continue editing. I'm missing this one um, file, which must have been somewhere else, um, and somehow I didn't categorize it right. Um, the uh, the other thing is, so say I do a capture scratch, I'm um, capturing off a video camera. I will um, go into Finder and go to my Final Cut Pro and go to what I call Final Cut Pro stuff. This is where all my files are sent to um, if they're if they're backed up through Final Cut Pro. And my capture scratch is here. And then I can go in. Um, I don't have anything in my capture scratch right now. I just did a bad, 
big huge backup and moving files so I have more room on this on my main Final Cut Pro hard drive um, so but I could take the files out of that and then drag and drop it to whatever project that I'm that I'm doing um, so um, I don't know if I so yeah but uh, here's another project I did as you can see I have everything set up um, so that wherever I go I can open it back up on another hard drive and all my files and everything are all in one folder. So that's kind of the basic um, workflow that I use far as Final Cut Pro goes. Alright guys, well that's my workflow and I want to show that off to you guys and uh, check me out on Twitter at my uh, Twitter uh, name is dis, D-I-S, and then the word productions with an S at the end. Also, you can check me out on Facebook if you type in the word dispanet, D-I-S-P-O-N-E-T-T, -T, productions, all one word, um, onto uh, Facebook, and you can become, you can like my page, and I upload uh, new photos and stuff like that that you may not see here on Media Unlocked channel. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial. If you guys have any tutorials that you guys would like to know or or have me do, please um, leave a comment, and uh, when I get time, I will do a tutorial on that to help you out. That's what I'm here for. It's all about photography, videography, and uh, the whole media specter within that, within those two categories, because um, I've been doing it for five years. So I'm not an expert, but if I have the knowledge, I'm more than happy to share it.